Hey, we're back. Okay, what am I doing today? I do plan on doing these a little more frequently than four days apart, but... Uh, busy. And that usually impacts uh, this sort of side project stuff. But, I mean, no matter how busy stuff gets, I always got to return to this just to kind of keep a little bit fresh on it so I don't have to walk back into it and go, and then spend a whole day just getting back to where I was. Um, but uh, yeah, I know with a lot of folks, it's... Uh, it's tough having a side project because eventually you just kind of lose motivation. That's happened to me on other projects. But for now, I'm just kind of forcing myself to keep going back, and I think it's working. Um, anyway, so what I want to do today, I didn't really make any progress since last time. Uh, had a couple of bugs, and I'll, I'll show one of them that's pretty bad uh, with this grabbing the ledge thing that we're doing. Um, okay, come on. Yeah, there you go. Um, just a couple bugs left, and then I want to just move on to other stuff, because I, I, I swear there there is more that happens in this game than just jumping and grabbing ledges. But it's probably kind of hard to see um, on the stream, especially because I think I have it at 30 FPS, but actually it's 60 for real. Um, when he grabs a ledge and then pulls himself up, then he kind of flickers a little bit. And it's, it's pretty obvious, actually, if I do this, uh -huh. and like I can just do like a frame-by-frame frame step. Okay, so now the debugger is attached. And then if I just grab this ledge, uh-huh, and then, and then I'll try and get up. Um... Is it paused? Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. It's just taking a little while. So this is the part where he pulls himself up, and then we'll see it around the next update. For for one frame, he's kind of... Like, he just jumps down there. That's not right. So this is like a one-frame kind of flicker. Um, I mean, the, the rendering and the, and the physics are just like one frame out of sync. So, I'm not doing something right. Uh, I'm going to try and figure out why that is. Um, I thought a little bit about it since last time, and I think what's going on is... has to do with just the procedures of, you know, the order of how stuff happens with the Unity animation behaviors when they're applied, when they're taken off. Um... So this whole, this callback here, which actually changes his position. So this is what actually kind of puts him. Uh, what am I saying? Yeah. And get up from ledge. Yeah. So this either didn't happen yet or it happened like one frame. It did happen. So it just didn't. He's still on his old frame of animation. So this happened. The next update happened, but this, we didn't go to the next, to this pull up state yet. He's still in his hanging state. Um, so I really, I'm doing this too early, essentially, I think is what this is. I'm doing it on the state exit. When really, I need to do it on the pull up state enter, I think. Um, so, what I'm going to do there, okay, so yeah, he just pulls himself up, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and then and make another, I know I'm kind of going crazy with these, here's like the state machine, a little snippet of it anyway. Um, so we're here and then when we go to pull up, hang is where this ledge hang behavior is taking place. Pull up doesn't have a behavior on it. It just does whatever, you know, the normal character controller does. Um... Which should be fine, except we might just want to do, because this logic is getting hit too early, I think we want to do it on this pull-up state right when you enter, so let me just quickly make another one of those states. Um, oh, we have stationary behavior. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that was what I made last time. I think I'm going to get rid of this because this was kind of not needed anymore. Um, scripts. Yeah. I'll just make a new one. Um, we'll call it the ledge pull up behavior. Mm -hmm. And Visual Studio immediately gets it in the project. That used to not happen instantly. That used to be pretty annoying. But here we go. Okay, and it's not a mono behavior. It's a this thing. And in fact, I'm just going to copy all this and then get rid of what I don't need. Ooh, that's formatting. Okay, yeah. On state, enter. Oh yeah, okay, gotta namespace it. That's what was missing. My super special namespace. Okay, all right. On state enter, and on state enter, we're just gonna do this. So hopefully this happens in sync properly. So right when he enters the state, he switches to his pulling up animation, which has a different pivot position. And here's where we actually change his physics position. And so they should match up. Um, and just kind of hope that that does it. Now, could it really be that simple? I doubt it, but I can hope. Right, I, I kind of want to just get rid of Can I just delete this? Remove. Yeah. Okay. Now add. Yeah, what did stationary behavior do just so that I'm not yeah override movement true which we which we do here so never mind don't need this and there we go now So, uh, I don't really need to see player controller, just character controller right now. So, now this should still happen. Um, but it should happen... Well, first, let me see if... If I can observe the bug. Uh, I really hope. Huh. Uh, well, that doesn't do it. That does not do it. So we still have that problem. And and we've kind of acquired something new where he kind of slides into the into the ground as he pulls himself up. Ooh, that's unattractive. Uh, so what's going on here? Okay. Unpause. You can unpause. Huh. I think it's still attaching the debugger. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, it was hitting that breakpoint that I don't need. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, <sighs> this is still happening. Uh, I didn't... Yeah, I didn't get rid of it from here. To... Well, that explains something. I'll just get rid of this. Just comment it out, because... Uh, in case I just want to leave some breadcrumbs. Uh, this is still okay here. It doesn't... It's, it's fine here. Um, because going from hanging to falling doesn't really, doesn't change his pivot, doesn't make any kind of visual artifact. It's okay to do that, uh, I, I think. I mean, I don't, I see no evil, so. 
Let's try this again. No. Ugh. And let me just verify the order of things happening. So the first thing is we grab the ledge, we try and pull up, and then, okay, it should now be hitting this breakpoint, waiting for that to happen. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And it's coming from here. So we are already in the we are already in the the pull up state. But it doesn't look like he's it has that graphic yet. So by the time the next update happens, same thing. Hmm. So it's like, even though we are, even though we are in the pull-up state, his graphic didn't change. Well, I don't really know what to do about that. I mean, uh, that stinks. Ugh. <laughs> So, ooh, well that's a, that's a bug. That should be on state enter, not exit, and that was a copy paste problem. I don't think that would have much of an effect on anything, but Let's just uh, let's just do due diligence. Uh huh. Blop. Nope. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't like slide into the wall awkwardly. Well, he did there. So that's something else going on. But we still get that flicker where he's out of position for one frame. That's that's disappointing. I was really hoping that was gonna work. Um. The problem seems to be he's in, he moves to this state without actually changing his graphics. So I thought one went with the other, but apparently not. Now, my backup plan was, and I don't like doing this, it's not, not a hack, I don't think, but it's only like one step above that, which is, uh, let me just comment this out for now and say, let me go over to the character and now say when this pull up, if I make an animation event, I don't, I don't like animation events that much because on, uh, on get up from ledge. So this means now he should, see, he's already in this kind of pull-up state. I'm hoping this does it. If it does, though, I'm going to be kind of annoyed. The problem might not be what I said it was, where I said... His graphic was wrong, but it might have been right, and his position was just... Uh, get up from ledge. Let's see if that makes any difference. Because we're really, we're basically saying his graphic changed and now his position changed, the pivot changed to match it. So really everything should be in sync at this point. Uh, 
Ooh, okay. I didn't see the, the artifact happen. I did see it there. I didn't see it there. Yeah, I, I don't see it there. Uh, but I do, I did see it. Uh, I see it sometimes now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see it sometimes. I see it less often, but... Oof. That's... What could be happening? Mm -hmm. It's probably some kind of like little race condition that I'm not getting. Um, Uh huh. So this should this will set his position and okay. We don't have any more of a call stack because this is happening from the animation event, which means his graphics should already be changed. Um, but like. Will I see the problem? Uh, yeah, it still it, uh, it does that. Sprite render sprite. Okay, it is it is pull up one. Like is it is it in this calculation? Uh No, because it didn't hit that yet. Mm. Okay, his position is updated. Yep. Is it that his rigid body and his unity transformer out of sync? I really hope that's not it. No, well, doesn't seem to be. Like, what if I... I have all this crap in here. Let me just put in... Uh... Yeah, okay, no, those are both 
So what gives? His pivot is just off for like just one frame and see, okay, so the next frame, it's fine. Yep, that was the ledge get up position. It might be, no, I want to say it's this. Let's see, what is this for? Uh... No, okay. Wouldn't be hitting that anyway. Um... Hmm. Let me just follow all this stuff again. Uh, yeah, okay, so his position is... Okay, I, I set that, but it didn't quite immediately take effect here. And also he's on, he's on that hang three instead of pull up one. So, and this is what's coming in from the animation event, which means he should already be in that, uh, So then by the time the next, let me check late update and fixed update too, just to cover all my bases. So the late update is happening. We're still on, okay, pull up one. So the graphic changed, but his still his, still his, uh, position didn't change yet. Something's not happening at the right time. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's out of sync with that. Right, I, that's the same thing as that, actually. These shouldn't be different. Huh. Mm -hmm. So fixed update is still wrong. By the time we get to the next update, it's right, but... Do I just have to manually set this? I mean, I... I could, but I shouldn't have to. Hmm. That's a vector three. Uh -huh. uh. Can it just take that and go? Oh, never mind. I I do want to say specifically. get a position dot y and then whatever it was dot z uh...
I mean, that... You, my understanding was that this is not good. You typically want to... Uh, defer to whatever the rigid body says its position is. But if they're out of sync for like one frame, and that's really all it takes for this horrible thing to happen. So let's try it again. I gotta remove these breakpoints. So, 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 okay, so it didn't, all right, all right, I'm not seeing the bug. Oh, did that do it? You don't see this right now, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy, but like cautiously. It's weird if something like this would make me happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, do, do it again, guy. Fump. Okay. Hitting the breakpoint. Okay, here we go. What's up? How is this rigid body position already too? I didn't even set it yet. Okay, all right, whatever. So they are both in sync. And then I go to say update. Or fixed update, I think was the late update. So fixed update. Continue to the next, uh-huh, yeah. Yes, okay. It doesn't happen anymore. Okay. Can I be happy? Is this good? Oops, fell down a little too far. Ah, I don't see the problem. I don't see it happening anymore. That's good. That's good. That makes that pleases me. All right. Okay. Um. All right. Now, just a little bit of polishing up. I just want to see if I can. So, if it really was just a matter of setting both these positions at once, can I go back to? Can I not do it in an animation event? Uh, I'm gonna, if I just say, and then I say, if I want to do it here, like I originally thought, does this break everything back? Let me see. It doesn't appear that it does. That appears fine. I'm just doing it over and over just to be confident. But I would have definitely seen it by now if it was happening. So yay. I'm happy about that. Why am I why do I keep doing this? <laughs> yeah, alright. And and I, okay, and I could still just yep, I could still fall down if I want to. Yeah. Yeah, all right. All right. So I can actually go back to that stationary behavior that I had before. <laughs> like I said, I didn't need... Because really, that's all this is doing. Um... Yeah. So it wasn't that. I, ha I had like a... You know, thought it was a timing issue with the state machines. Nope. Nope. So, that can stay. We don't even need this. I'm just going to leave it for now, because whatever. Um, there was one other little thing. I don't know if you noticed. I wish I didn't notice. Um... Okay, so that's fine. You just can pull them. But if if I'm if I don't give him a chance to like just hang out and then I just pull up. Um, if I just basically hold the left button and hold the right button, 
he kind of slides forward as he's getting it from the ledge. See, like here, both of his feet are like comfortably on the ledge. But if I just kind of, you know, let him hang and then tap the button, you know, his back foot is a little off the ledge. Um, it's such a minor thing, but... Actually, is it even? Am I just seeing things? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think... Be because... I think what's happening is, yeah, even though this ledge pull-up behavior is override movement, which the character controller interprets as saying, you can't you can't make him go left or right. You know, we have these move left and right functions. Uh, but they say, like, you know, if you're in an animation state, if you have this behavior and it overrides movement, we're not going to let you move as normal. But I think there's one frame where it's letting this through. Just like a little mini race condition. If that's even the term for it. Um... I think that is what is happening. So... But... Hmm. But no, it wouldn't be between hang and pull up because they both override movement. So it wouldn't have been that. It would have been... It's probably... It's probably at this point. We say trigger the grab ledge, but he's not immediately in the, in the ledge hang state at this point. So it's possible that this logic gets hit. Then you get like one frame of this logic, but then the next then the next uh, state takes over and then says, no, you can't move anymore. So you get like one frame of movement. So I think what I'm just going to say is here, uh, I can't, um, yeah, let me just do that. So that way he can't like, Like, if he did manage to sneak in any X velocity, any X speed going into this state, then at least it gets cut off right here. And then for the rest of the time he's in this hanging behavior and pulling up, he's not moving. And I think that would do that. Well, no, it didn't seem to do that. Is this even really a problem? I don't think it is. Um, let me also do that for this. On the weird off chance that there is a gap between those two. But at this point, I'm really just nitpicking. No, oh, it's not... Seems like the, he, he can still move. Hmm. Well, I'm getting rid of this. This didn't do anything. Um, <laughs> I mean, just for poops and giggles. Uh, on. <laughs> uh, do I have to like keep forcing it every frame? I really don't want to do that, but let me just see if that makes him stay still and not s like slide into the. Yeah. It does. I just don't know why I need to do that because 
I think that's correct. So now he'll, he'll come up at the very edge of the ledge. And he won't, like, move while he's... Yeah. So that, that does do it. I don't know... I don't know where it's getting through that he's actually able to get some X speed. But I think I might just leave it like that because it's really not... It's really not that bad. I mean, it might be a symptom of a bigger problem, but I'll just remind myself. remind myself. Okay, so this can go. Alright, I mean, I think... I think... I think that's it. For now. I mean, that's really all I wanted to get done was, like, that... That weird... That, uh, that weird... Ugh, what is this? I just said, I think we're done, and then that happened. Hmm. Huh. I gotta try and recreate that. How did that, what was that? How did he do that? I think I, I jumped from this and then you know, he kind of like snapped onto the ledge and then didn't. But actually I noticed that like even if I'm holding away from the ledge, he will still try and grab on for a frame. I kind of want to actually maybe just make it a little smarter so that if you're near the ledge, but you're holding away from it, you just don't try and grab on. So that's a pretty quick thing I can do, and that might have been responsible for that weird thing. Where it's now that now since I'm recording this, I can kind of go back and look at what that looked like. Um... Yeah, I think I can use this last frame movement, this kind of just movement buffer to see. Uh, where is that getting set again? Yeah, uh -huh. last frame movement. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that's for. I should really remember what this is for, but that's what I was saying, just taking some time off and then coming back to the project is like, huh? And then it like, I, I second guess myself and then I come back and I'm like, wait a minute, no, I was right the first time. I was wiser than I thought and then I just forgot to comment stuff or. Do I want to look at last frame movement or this frame movement? Uh, I think last frame movement. I seem to be using that a lot more. So, this is the condition for checking if... Yeah, if you're falling downwards and you, you can grab the ledge, you didn't just drop off. Let me add on to that. Mm. And Bridget, but uh, and uh, 
I could say, oh yeah, facing right or left. Um, and facing left and last frame movement is not equal to So that's like if you were, well, let me just see what the, the condition, the exact condition that was happening before he was, he was facing right. Uh, and last frame movement. Last frame movement was left. Uh, I hate this kind of nested, I don't like this. Uh, why, why can't my brain do it? <laughs> so if he's facing right and... Uh, here, let me just... Let me do something that's a little easier for my brain. <laughs> yeah. So if you're facing left and... Your last frame movement and you're holding away from the ledge basically or not facing left and Yeah, I pretty much want it to be that. Ugh, I hate all this indentation, but... Like... Even though... We could be in range... To grab the ledge... Since we're... Actively inputting away... Don't try to grab. I might want to change this logic later, but basically don't don't try and grab the ledge if you're holding away from it to begin with. You know, my my way of dropping off the ledge is to press away from it. If you're if you're grabbing the ledge and you're facing right and then you press left, you'll fall off of it. Like like this. Um, he's facing right. If I want to fall off the ledge, I just pre press the opposite way I'm facing, so left, lap. That's weird. Oh, why is that happening? Oh. It's like he's fin he Oh, it's like he's finishing out his animation before going to that. Uh, yeah. That's what's happening. Yeah. It's like he's already ready to grab the ledge and I think he did. But then the animation state machine just, I gotta just make it a little smarter. But, can I, okay, yeah, he doesn't try and grab the ledge now if I'm like holding away from it. Okay, so so that's good, okay, yeah. Yeah, all right. So I think that avoided that wonky thing that we just saw. And then as for that, uh, so you can, you can actually go from jump to hang. I don't I, I don't have it so you can do that now, but what is the transition for oh just grab ledge? You, you should be able to do this if you No. No. And grab ledge. Yep. So you don't have to wait till you go into fall state. Normally it goes, you, you see through your entire jump animation before you go into fall. But if you're already in ledge grabbing distance and you're not done with your jump animation, just 
grab the ledge anyway. And that should you know, flamp. So, huh, yep, 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 yep. That was what I wanted. So, like, his, he, normally his whole jump is like, you know, his arm swings all the way back around him. But we don't even wait for that to finish. Okay, good, yeah. Don't grab because I'm holding back on it. Uh-huh. Do grab. Yep. Good. Good. We can fall. We can go back. We can... Yeah. Alright. That's looking kind of tight. That's good. Alright. Alright. Okay. Zoom. Okay, I just just don't find any more bugs. I think I want to just stop the stream here before we come into anything else. I don't have it so he can sleep right now, but that's what I'm going to do soon. Okay, all right. I, hmm, I actually thought I might not have gotten these bugs fixed tonight, but ha! Huh, it must be because I know you're watching. No, nobody's watching. Um, all right. That's all for now. Next time, I'm going to dip into something unrelated, something new that's not grabbing ledges, because I think we're all tired of that. I know I am. And I'm the one working on it. I'm, I'm tired of it. I mean, I think it works well enough. There's more stuff we can test, but I, I'll, I'll leave that for another time. All right. Until next time.